What's up, guys? It's your boy, Skinny P. It's been a while. I know. Uh, it's 20, what, what day is it? 2022. Wow. A year, not day. Gotcha. Don't worry about it. But uh, yeah, we're back. Uh, doing another podcast. New semester started at school. Um, it's been, it was really good last semester. Uh, I, I'm having a great time with my last semester and, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to make more episodes with the boys, uh, this year and all around enjoy it the best I can. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, if you like it, leave a like, if you don't like it, well, you can't see them anymore. So I guess there you go. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Mario. So Mario. So Mario. Oh, real quick. I was at the gym earlier. And then I saw a guy who was like Duncan, but if things went right, because he because he was wearing he was like he looked kind of like Duncan with like the hair and stuff, but he he was you know pretty well pretty well built, but he's wearing a Super Mario Brothers shirt at the Whoa. gym, and I was like, what could have been? What could have been? been? All right, well let's get started because uh, so, so today's today's topic, unlike last time, like six four four six months ago, was happiness. This one is anger. So what gets you guys angry, huh? What gets you guys angry? Duncan grinds my gears. Duncan. <laughs> Duncan. Tom, is this true? I mean, sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Like, what's I mean, what's the th- what? Okay, maybe I should start different. Like, what is anger to you guys? Like, what is the feeling consist of? When you feel real mad. No, <laughs> it's like um, I I I think it's it's just like when everything that you normally think is funny or cool <laughs> annoys you <laughs> basically you know like or it's like thing little little things that when normally affect you really set you off mm-hmm. it's like that's when you know you're getting real angry it's like i don't know you drop the egg in the kitchen and you normally you just been like oh oh that's that my bad but then instead you're like fucking goddamn piece of shit egg <laughs> flying out of my hands um, it's just like when I it, it, anger to me is like when I know I'm not right in the world. You know, there's something setting wrong with me. Sure. Yeah. You know. Whenever Duncan says something to me, I feel like this pressure behind my eyeballs. Mm. It just it just gives me a headache, and I'm just like, ah, oh, ah, oh, so much pain. Yeah. That's anger. <laughs> okay. It's right. the feeling you get when you talk to Duncan. Sure, and how how about the you, Duncan? So I think anger for me is kind of when you have uh, it's like the filter pops off and you lose it and it falls under the couch, and uh, you have all of this emotion behind you, and you might even say things that might not be true because a part of you is almost gone when you're angry, and to me, anger is just unfiltered emotion with a negative energy behind it. Mm. I think uh, if you're angry, there has to be some kind of negative energy behind it. And uh, a physical feeling, you really do feel it in your whole body when you're angry. Uh, Especially like in your head sometimes, and you have like an instinctive, uh, uh, it causes your body to like all tense up, you make a fist with your hand. And it's like you're ready to jump if something like just rubs you the wrong way. Like the egg. Uh, yeah, like the egg. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Gabe? Uh. <clears throat> I don't. I don't remember the last time I was truly angry. Mm-hmm. Um. Of, uh. At church today, there was there was this little there was this little uh, there was this little man, like you know, can little, yeah. David can David can back me up. There was this little man, like little in spirit, little in 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 like stature, character, character. Okay. If 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 you opened his head, his brain would occupy seventy five percent of his skull. I I think. Okay. Um. Anyway, uh, he it was his first time there, uh, and 
someone brought like a regular member brought him with them mm -hmm. and uh he was wearing a he was wearing a pagan symbol to an orthodox church on like a special occasion because someone because a couple people were being introduced and i i wasn't necessarily angry but i was annoyed and i wanted to make fun of him for it but uh i was in good company okay so like <laughs> anger to you is just like kind of what duncan said it's like you want to get rid of that filter yeah you want to get you want to just go go big mode You want you want to give yeah. you want to give the guy with seventy five percent brain the smackdown. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Well, no, he has a hundred percent brain, but it's seventy five percent scale. Oh, okay. If we're getting specific. <laughs> oh, shut up, you lunatic. <laughs> what are well, you even talking? So, so for me, like anger to me is is kind of like that. It's just, it's just when you like lose kind of yourself, and you, you're just not cool anymore. Like you're you're not. You're not you to what you could truly be. You're just like, that's it. As, as as Sam and Tom would say, mask off moment. We're about to we're about to let shit hit the fan, and it's not gonna be pretty. But yeah, that's that's I kind of agree with that. But what what causes you to feel angry? Or well, let's see, like what what's the trigger most of the time for you personally? Uh, Duncan. 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 Oh. No, I don't oh, think Dun don't Duncan. Don't say me. <laughs> so, um. so for me, it's it's uh kind of for me, it's when um like you're, you're trying to do something, and something happens, and it's just completely out of your control. You know it's wrong. You know like it shouldn't happen, and it happens. Uh, so for me, like when you're trying to talk to somebody you're like trying to explain something mm. uh do this and then like it's like nope nope and you're just like mother you stupid mother and you just like you, you can't yeah. convey what you want to convey to somebody like that that's something that like really upsets me and that's that's one thing that triggers like anger to me like yeah. what, what about for you guys besides duncan right. we, we all know duncan can get on people's nerves i mean just look at him i 100 percent agree with that where it's like you're, you're trying to say something maybe you're you know there's a misunderstanding you're trying to explain your your point of view and then no one's listening or the person that you're having beef with is uh being intentionally they're being obstinate or something and you're just like you you can't get it out to them and they, they just refuse to uh even hear you out and that really ooh, it steams it steams me up yeah um <laughs> should we make the distinction between anger and frustration because I yeah. think Duncan make all of us frustrated all the time. Yeah, I would say like, but pure anger is different than just frustration. Yeah, it's like I would say pure anger is more like seething, more like. You, well, you can use anger. Yeah. Frustration can, like, is just. Too. Yeah. Frustration is just a, a nuisance. I think yeah. frustration can lead to anger, though. Definitely, yeah, anger. but they're but they are separate. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I like to go off on a bit of a spiel, if I may. Okay, mm -hmm. so I used to get like really mad when I uh, like you know, I, I'm driving around and I get like you know five red lights in a row. Then I started keeping track of that kind of thing, and I realized that it's statistically impossible for me to get as many red lights as I do, or like for certain things to happen as often as they do to me. So that has pretty much confirmed my theory that there's somebody who's working against me. <laughs> In the city government so i don't really get mad about that anymore i just kind of accept it so okay. you know it's just like if somebody's working against you you can't get mad at random chance anymore because it's out of your hands you know if jimmy working at the rapid city municipal office you know wants to give me 17 red lights in a row this happened by the way he wants to give me 17 red lights in a row then it's just like what can you do what can you do yeah like what, one of my personal experiences is uh most of you know about the Overwatch drama. That that was out of my hands, out of my control, and that severely upset me. That that one got me really angry and upset, and it, it did it did cause me to make great changes in my life afterwards. Uh, mostly quitting Overwatch, but yeah. <laughs> so we we have anger, right? Then what's like the best way to like to deal with it? Like, what do you guys do to deal with? Um, like 
m most of the time you're going to be frustrated instead of like pure angry. So how do you deal with that anger and frustration? Well, <clears throat> I need to be alone whenever I'm angry or frustrated. Like if someone tries to talk to me, I can't. Mm -hmm. No, it's not going to end up good for either of us. So, um, cause you're just going to snap and you're going to let loose a, a Slim Jim or something, you know? Yeah. yeah. And then it's happened. I'm not proud to say, but it's happened, you know, where I've just, uh, it's been times where I've just I've laid into people and they don't deserve it, and it's just because of something else going on sometimes in my life or you know whatever. But it happens, and but it, I it, it just it's shown me that I can't like keep interacting with people at that point. I need to go to I need to get in my own head in my you know somewhere else and figure out the problem and you know whether it's have you know slow breathing or you know sometimes the physical stuff helps, which is it's cliche, but like slowing down physically you're breathing and just kind of not letting go of your tension you know that that helps for me a lot because i do get like really tense uh, sometimes physically sure um but I don't, I don't know i never really found a surefire way to do it other than like when i get to the point where i'm able to talk to people is just going back and talking to the person that if it is a person that, that made me angry, you know, go, going and talking to that person and trying to hash it out and hopefully not escalating the situation further. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Duncan? I usually go for, well, kind of like, uh, I want to get away from other people. Usually I go for a car ride because mm -hmm. uh, driving around makes me feel good. And uh, uh, I usually try to talk to someone depending on who i'm annoyed with i'll either talk to them or i'll just talk to someone else about it and then it makes me feel good i try to make a joke of it maybe not a joke of it but i uh, try to laugh it off and that usually feels better in the, take the uh, power away from it yeah take the power away from it i think inside the glide drexler mm -hmm. exactly yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want to you know i'm not trying to um harp on about this or anything but i'm a you know i'm a believer so prayer helps me a lot um which i know not everyone is in that same boat but <laughs> if if you are then you know i find that kind of helps just to talk it out and you know do that <laughs> what about you game i know you're not angry but i know you get frustrated so how do you deal with that uh it takes time time you know uh <clears throat> even if I like, even if I like to reference something, um, that, you know, some kind of, some kind of situation that could be funny that I got frustrated about, uh, you know, even if I continue to reference it, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not over it. Kind of like earlier, uh, making a joke or something and, uh, kind of, kind of reducing, reducing it in, in how you perceive it, um, something that's funny, rather than something that can have power over you. Fair. A lot of times, stuff like that is not, um, you know, world ending. So it's like, it may feel like it at the time, but it's like, yeah, you, if you realize that it's not going to be, you know, a huge deal in six months, yeah, you can do that. Kind of let it go and make a joke about it. And, yeah. yeah. What about you? Yeah. Sam? Uh, normally, I usually just like try and forget about it, you know, move on, and then you remember it like you know, five years later, and you get mad again, <laughs> and then you forget about it again. Yeah, it's a cycle. Uh, you know? I feel, you know, I I think, I think um, one of the one of the best treatments for it is just finding someone you want to get food with, and then just you know, having a good time. And that can kind of mask, that can kind of mask it a little bit. Like, like are you talking yeah, well, about Taco Tom... Bell at 3 a.m. or something? Yeah, well, as Tom will tell you, I'm good at remember forgetting stuff. It's true. For better or for worse, but it's true. Damn, man, I have like the most irrational way of dealing with anger sometimes compared to you guys. Jesus. What do you do? So, like, when I, when I was going through, like, my terrible, like, relationships stuff, like, uh, two or three years ago... I would get in my car, go out in the middle of nowhere, go really fast and yell really loud. That's what I would do. 
Oh, that happened once. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, yeah. That's I mean, definitely... I, I I was not keeping that container. I was I, I was putting my life in danger there. It was not smart, but you know, it, it did help. It was like <sighs> going. I've I, definitely done that. I yeah. was going, man, and uh, I was just lucky that I didn't hurt myself and yeah, or someone else for that matter. But yeah, it was just. I now I mostly deal with it by like taking that time, breathing. Like I, right now, I, I I haven't really got angry at much compared to like having someone cheat on you or or that kind of stuff. Like I had to deal with in the past or very abusive times. But yeah, now it's just like breathe, go play Tarkov, get angry at something else. Will be great. Will be perfect. Get angry, get angry at the scav boss. He head tapped me from across. The it's fine. Bye. But. Yeah, like I've I've had a lot of times, uh, especially when I was younger in high school, was very bad agreements. Like, didn't live with my mom and dad, that kind of stuff. Like, I was in a bad state of mind, and I would just handle it very poorly. So, like, I've I've gotten better at dealing with it. But yeah, yeah. I think relationship stuff, especially, can really do it. Yeah, it's, it's it, not can, a, it can be brutal. Yeah, absolutely, it's yeah. That was probably the last time I got. I actually got legitimately very angry. Was was my last relationship right at the end? Um, it was not. You know, I didn't handle it too well then. But I think that might be the same for me as well. <laughs> you know, yeah. Woman. I was a uh, three years ago ish. So not. You know, yeah. on a hot streak, baby. Woo! <laughs> so then, what can you do with anger? Like, how can like people talk about like you can funnel your anger into like what you do how how do you do that like how what part of your anger goes into it because when i'm angry i'm normally pretty rational don't always think but like how can it fuel you like so like how can you make it like your driving force you know like give you, you the remember extra her speed. lies when you're at the gym <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Anger is a great physical motivator. Because mm -hmm. when you're angry, you want to physically get it out, you know, generally violently, but. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that was me when I was 16. I just to go to the gym, you know, back when I was angry at the world and everything. But I don't really get angry anymore now that I'm a wizened old 27 year old man. <laughs> it's true. It's true. No. I mean, uh... Yeah, you go on. I was going to say, when I was getting upset with stuff or angry back in Fargo, I'd just go for a walk. Sometimes i go for one hour, two hour long walks just to get out of the house. That's how you really lost all that weight. Yeah. 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 You're so angry. I, I, I mean, any emotion or a lot of emotions are great for funneling into art as well. So if you make art at all, mm -hmm. music or, you know, I don't know, painting, sculpting, writing, drawing. Um, even if you don't make something good, <laughs> it's good to use it to make something. Sure. So I guess another question is, when do you think that someone should seek help for being angry? Like, at, mm. at what what is that tipping point where it's like, bro, you need to get some help. Like, dude, <laughs> what, what what is that tipping point? Do you guys think? They're getting physical, you know. You know, yeah. hitting people or you know, breaking stuff, whatever. It's like if they're just yelling, it's not that big of a deal. Like when well, they start putting, I guess, somebody, I guess if someone is being a dickhead and just making a lot of like cutting remarks or something, then yeah, you'd say, you know, you gotta yeah, you gotta deal with this in some other way, buddy. Yeah. I mean I think yeah, physical is definitely one. But even if it is just yelling and, 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 and vocal, um, that can still psychologically hurt people mm -hmm. um so it's I, I feel like as if it's like a recurring problem everyone gets angry from time to time you know it just it's a human thing it happens but if it's like it happens often and it's all, like always a big deal when it does happen that's probably it's probably you know a good sign that it's time to talk to somebody about it um yeah i don't know it's a hard thing Everyone's yeah. situation's different. Well, then, how, like, say, say it's it's your best friend. It's your best friend Duncan. He's he's losing his temper. Mm -hmm. He's putting holes in his walls. He's smelling too much curry mm -hmm. or some shit. You know, mm -hmm. like, how how would you approach him? Like, say, what, what would like what would you tell, like your your friend? 
you need to get some help, man. Like, I'm here. Like, what, what would you do? Like, you see someone significant in your life who's having severe anger, severe yeah. kind of like that thing. Well, how would you talk to him about it? Because like, it doesn't have to be Duncan, but well, yeah, it's, it doesn't yeah, have to yeah. be Duncan. Just, but just look at him. He's he's that kind of guy. Well, uh, assuming it's not me or it's like anyone. Well, yeah, assuming it's anyone. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, let's just assume it's a friend. Yeah. So, because if it's some homeless guy in the street, you don't know what's... But, okay. Yeah, well, assuming anyways... it's someone you know well enough to, like, <laughs> be comfortable talking about this with in the first place. Okay, so anyways, there's a guy, I know him, he's not doing so well. I feel a lot of stuff with anger is that you're mind almost gets in some kind of loop because even being like hey how are you doing i think even just trying to start a normal conversation sometimes helps because it helps get someone out of the like anger loop that's in their mind mm -hmm. and then it can evolve into a discussion of what's keeping them down making them upset so really uh as long as you're calm when you like talk to someone who's like upset I think, uh, so basically just, like not losing your own cool mind. yeah yeah i mean if they're like super upset and they look like they're about to like smack you across the face you know probably stand back but if uh you can tell they're upset but not super super upset it's worth talking to them for sure okay it's hard you know to talk to people it's harder to talk to people you know well about stuff i, like that. I actually agree it is you, yeah it, it's like I, i've had to do this in the past and a lot of it is kind of just def almost deflecting around it so you just kind of hit everything around what you're going for and then you're just like i gotta say it dude you're fucked up like <laughs> what's wrong with you man do you want to talk about like it it, it, it that's kind of how it is like i try to be nice and just like kind of work through it and kind of get into it but if they just keep avoiding and i just have to I have to be like man what's going on like, come on dude you're acting like an asshole yeah come on dude what's up <laughs> you want to fight let's fight let's go mm -hmm. let's let it out let's boogie yeah, get, pun get punched in the back in the face. yeah <laughs> I, I don't know it's it's just kind of a weird thing to me it's like this in in my opinion this isn't really discussed at, at all in the school or anything like how to how to deal with someone who who's has these issues or how to like help someone who's in in a hard spot in life you know a lot of it is kind of just self-taught to an extent yeah well i feel a lot of times with anger stuff it's always about what the person themselves can do when they're angry but never how a friend can make someone feel better yeah that's like, hard so off. and i think they really should like say it's like hey if you have an upset friend here's what you should do but instead it's like oh if you're upset this is what you do because yeah. oh, sometimes well, you need that person to like kind of <laughs> push you in the right direction it's true but i mean think about you know when you've been really angry did you want anyone talking to you about it <laughs> yeah did you want anyone giving true. you advice about it you know it's just like, like when you're in on, that bro, state don't be angry don't i say when, yeah, when you're in that state you're just like <laughs> you're right, you're right. I, I, I want none of it so but i agree it should be but the problem is it it's so hard to yeah, connect with people the when they're in that state yeah yeah you know Do you guys have any other questions? I, I ran out of questions. <laughs> <laughs> How long have we been going? Uh, it's been 23 minutes. Yeah, well. I think we did a 30 minute episode last time. So. Yeah, I mean. So I what can know. you do to better yourself then? <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, a lot. A lot. <laughs> don't, don't, yeah, don't, don't be an asshole. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean. I think it's just good to approach you need you need a, a big picture right so it's like when you look at something that make when something makes you angry you need to be able to step back and say like is this really going to affect my life going forward 
in such a way that I should react with anger. And if not, don't. <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, maybe that's not the right way to say it, but it's like, I think just you need, you need perspective to see like, and plus it, when you're angry, you look like the biggest idiot in the world to other people sometimes. If it's if you're like unjustly angry, you know, it's like then you look like <laughs> you, <see, laughs> you got to think about that as well. You, you're pulling up. There's this guy in the car next to you. He's screaming on the wheel. Just going nuts. He's like, whoa, <laughs> <laughs> I better go that way. <laughs> yeah. From outside perspective, you, you're just like, what is that guy's problem? <laughs> like, <laughs> well, there's a there's a book and Sam Sands read this book too, Gorilla Mindset, where I think one of the um, one of the tips or whatever, like one of the things he says to do in it when you get mad or when you get upset is to go into the mirror, you know, look in the mirror and then like say the things into the mirror that you were saying, like just out into the nothingness, you know, out in space and like see what you look like when you're doing that. And it's not, it's not pretty. <laughs> it's not easy to do, but it's, it's not, it doesn't look good. It's not a good look for anyone really. Yeah. I mean, it, it definitely gives you perspective. It's like, oh, so that's why, like, because when you're angry, you're irrational, right? You're, you're like, why are you looking at me like that, huh, punk? You want to go? You want to fight? And it gives you that perspective when you do that. Yeah, I feel that. Mm -hmm. What about you, Duncan? Or actually, Gabe, well, what about Gabe? What's Gabe's thoughts? He's been quiet. Gabe, Come on, Gabe. What? I'm, I'm just, anything? What are your thoughts um, on, like, the last five, ten minutes? The, the last time I got really angry, um... I punched a chair and I broke it. Okay. Um, which sounds stupid, but I was really fucking angry. No, oh, I listen. I punched a wall. I put a hole in the wall once. I was a real Kyle. Yeah. It's angry. Um, yeah. So it's like. <clears throat> I I feel like. I feel like the time like the times where I've been like angry, not for like but. For, for like a protracted period it it kind of developed it, it developed into, the, into this feeling that that the world kind of owes me something mm. now that this has happened and it like it i guess it doesn't really apply to anything in particular but just this feeling that you've been wronged and you deserve kind of some kind of compensation for it. Mm. So, what do you do about it? Like, do you try to seek that compensation? Do you just I, let it go? Well, or? no. I mean, it's it's almost an irrational. Mm, okay, it's, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's like it's a it's a feeling of um, it's a feeling of entitlement that doesn't really come from anywhere. Mm. That it's like if you get hurt on the job, of course you can seek compensation from where you're employed. But if you, <clears throat> if you kind of get, if you get it wrong in some kind of, if you get wrong in a way that was, it's, if you get wrong in like a cosmic sort of way, mm. it's like, what the fuck are you gonna do? Yeah. Yeah, but it's like, you're thinking the world has done something bad to me, so. I should be getting something good here to make up for it. Pretty yeah, kind but of then, but then, but then, nothing good happened. Yeah, it never does. Well, I mean, I, I guess in a sense, you could use that, that energy or that that feeling to kind of push yourself to maybe either like lift another ten pounds at the gym or something and try to better yourself. Oh yeah, better. well yeah, that's that's exactly what I ended up doing. But mm -hmm. uh, there you go. Um, it's kind of like this. It's kind of like this Scorsese taxi driver kind of thing where uh where let's say duncan let's say duncan got wronged and he shaves his head into a mohawk and he grabs and he grabs the kitchen gun and he goes out to to he, go, he goes out to uh to finally finally show british hat guy what he what he means um it's like it's it's like uh the taxi driver guy like he like he thought that he was owed something you know after after getting wronged even though he was just autistic yeah it was, uh, yeah <laughs> yeah okay. so you know it's just not a healthy and, it's not a healthy mindset yeah okay he just wanted to talk about duncan and british hack guy 
What, well, what, what about you, Sam? What are your thoughts? Uh, so, you know, I usually think I'm a pretty laid back guy. I like to get uh, explosively angry at certain things just as a, as a, like a humorous thing. You know, we all know that uh, whenever I uh, start screaming and yelling about something, it's usually for effect. It's a joke. But I don't usually actually get angry about stuff. Okay. Tom's hey, making sure. a face. Usually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I usually try and just like, you know, just take life as it comes, you know? Just don't worry. Don't Be happy. Worry. Don't worry. How about you, Duncan? Any, any, any remarking thoughts? Well, uh, I know that when I get angry at something, I definitely agree that sometimes you really feel like someone owes you something. Like when you get angry, you do feel like the world wronged you. When in reality, you're the person who's in charge of what happens next. If you stay angry with something and wait for something good to happen, it's not going to come. You have to really put into work, put in the work to make sure what outcome you want happens. That kind of happened to me with a, a class last semester. I was so angry at the professor for being like, a, <laughs> like shitty that it, it results in me having to take the class again next semester. So now when I have them again this semester, I'm going to make sure I do everything in my power <laughs> to make sure the class goes well instead of just getting angry all oh, this class is shitty I'm just not gonna do what I'm supposed to no I'm actually gonna yeah, you know, not get angry and actually do my work in my opinion anger can be kind of like a, a downhill spiral it can be it can be a good thing sometimes it can, it can really push you it can really make you to strive to be um, stronger uh I've gotten angry at myself for not being healthy, and I've, I've basically forced myself to, to be healthier because of it. Um, one of the big things is my teeth. It fucking sucks. I, I think my cheek is still swollen um, from my latest tooth pull, but it's just like... It, it's it's more more frustration towards myself for not taking care of myself, and but it, it's pushing me to be much better at it. And, and if I didn't have that frustration or anger... Uh, it wouldn't have pushed myself as hard as I did, and I probably would have even less teeth now, or just be a crackhead on the side of the road. Who knows? Yeah, you'd be looking like Jake. I'd be looking I like guess, Jake. No front teeth. Look out. I guess it is kind of interesting. Is that sometimes when you're really mad at someone in the past, and depending on your reaction to it later down the line, you'll end up being upset with yourself in the future for how you acted in that situation. Hmm. No, oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. No, I've I've had that before. <clears throat> yeah. Any any final remarks, Tom, of legend? Tom. Um, uh, my only thing would be don't 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 be too impulsive with your anger because that's I know it's hard. You know, easier said than done. But yeah. Duncan said, some of my biggest regrets in life are from things that I have said or done when I was legitimately angry. Um, it is nothing that's like really affecting me now, but I just think about it. I'm like, that was childish and Ooh, uh, my bad. not good. So, uh, but I you just be very, very careful because anger is, a, you know, it can be used as a tool for like I say, great art or bettering yourself, but it can also be used to harm uh, very deeply. So just keep that in the front of your mind always if you're a person who is prone to getting angry. Like I, I'm not so much anymore, but I was very much, yeah, my teenage years and I was going through all that hormone stuff and at the same time, girls. That was yeah. a big, a big thing. So like that, those two combined is a terrible combination. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. Oh man. Well, that's that's basically all I had. So, closing statements. Closing statements, Sam. Um, closing statement, quick. My closing it, statement is that I really wish that uh, that certain people would be deported back to Fargo, but 
This is for stock with them. You gotta make the most of it. Can you be deported back to a place you're not from? <laughs> I, I don't know. How about you, Gabe? Final statement. Let's hear it. Tom, what's the angriest you've ever made your father? <laughs> <laughs> this is a deep cut. That's a deep cut. I don't cut. know. I don't know. I can't think of it. Nothing. I've never made my dad angry. Whoa. The angriest I ever made my dad is when I showed him the video of the donkey getting hit by the train. He's no! Like, Why would you show no. me that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Duncan. Final remark. Let's hear it. Uh, final remark. Uh, be careful when you're angry because in the future, you might just get angry at that being angry. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, I, he's right. David, you got anything to cue in last second? Yeah, just uh, be good. It's hard. It's hard to do that, but True. Uh, sometimes it makes the difference in someone's day. It truly does. It truly does. Well, next time we'll go something that over that we can relate to a little more, since we're not as angry as we used to be. <laughs> nah, not anymore. <laughs> the old age really softens you over the years. Yeah, yeah old age of <clears throat> twenty-three. Twenty-three. All right. All right. Dick.